Now, redox reaction is basically it's a type of reaction. Up to come the type of reaction, we kya kya categories ki hai. Among the type of reaction, we have a neutralization reaction. So, this neutralization reaction is one type of reaction. Then, the second type of reaction we have done, can you name any other? We have displacement reaction, hmm. is another category of reaction. Then, we have double displacement. Double displacement reactions were. The reactions where we were using, we were preparing the insoluble salt. Okay. Iske lava, the other categories are your combustion reaction. My next category is combustion reactions. When you burn fuel, burn ho hai, ya your body ke andar jo fuel, fuel burn ho hai, and it's giving carbon dioxide and steam and energy. Then we also will be doing endothermic reactions and exothermic reactions so endothermic and exothermic reactions they are again the type of reactions similarly another type is your redox reaction so redox reaction is basically where you have reduction and oxidation taking place simultaneously simultaneously ye wo reactions hai, oxidation and reduction simultaneously hote hai. it's same like iski analogy is tarah se like for example if i'm giving you chocolate right I'm at the giver ends, but you are receiving it. So, up a giver rota hai or a taker rota hai. So, it's a give and take relation. So, redox reaction is a give and take relation uh, of whether you talk, talk in the terms of electrons or in the terms of oxygen gain and loss or in the terms of hydrogen gain and loss. So, jobi gain and loss hai, giving and taking hai, simultaneous hoti hai. So, this reactions are, these reactions are known as redox reactions. So, this come under the category of type of reaction. The redox reaction, we basically have got three, def four definitions of redox reaction. So, we say reduction and redox reaction are what? Redox reactions are basically where redux reduction and oxidation take place it takes place simultaneously okay now we have got basically four ways to define redox reduction and oxidation now when you talk about now i'm giving you the four definition but we will be doing one definition at a time now in the terms of oxygen transfer jab hum oxygen ke transfer ke basis pe dekhte hain Okay, so basically the oxidation is basically aapka oxidation and you have reduction. I'm just giving you the definitions right now and then we'll be elaborating on each definition. So when we look oxidation and reduction ko dekhte in the terms of oxygen transfer, we say that oxygen is gain, ho hai. where there is a gain of oxygen, we call it oxidation. And where there is a loss of oxygen, we call it reduction. Okay, now comes the second definition. This is the first definition coming to the second definition in the terms of hydrogen transfer. Now, if you have hydrogen transfer, hai, hydrogen transfer is the reverse of oxygen transfer. So, if the hydrogen is being lost, hydrogen is lost, that's basically oxygen, oxidation. And the gain of hydrogen will be termed as reduction. Third definition in the is uh, on the basis of electron transfer, right? It's on the basis of electron transfer. Now, for this, we have got uh, mnemonic. We need to uh, memorize few facts, chemistry facts, where we get confused. And we have mnemonics to simplify our understanding. So, we get oil and we say rig. These are the two mnemonics which are associated with electron transfer. Where O stands for oxidation. I stand for is, L stand for loss of electron. So basically oxidation is a, oxidation is a process where the loss of electron take place. Similarly, R stands for reduction, right? I stand for is and G stands for gain in electron, gain of electron. So basically oxidation is, oxidation is a loss of electron. And the reduction is gain of electron. They're opposite to each other. Fine. Coming to the fourth definition. Fourth definition is said to be the universal definition. And it is a change in, it's a change in oxidation number. Now, what is an oxidation number? Oxidation number jo hota hai, 
इसको आप कई जगह ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट भी कहते हैं यू ऑफन कॉल इट ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट एज वेल क्वेश्चन के अंदर होता है जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल हमारे पास कॉपर का कॉपर टू ऑक्साइड सो टू इज बेसिकली द ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट और द ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर असाइन टू कॉपर इन दैट पर्टिकुलर कंपाउंड सो ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर वी कैलकुलेट वी फाइंड आउट राइट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सर्टन रूल्स बेसिस ऑफ सर्टन रूल्स इन रूल्स को फॉलो करते हुए आप ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर किसी भी एलिमेंट का उस पर्टिकुलर कंपाउंड में कैलकुलेट करते हैं सो दिस इज बेसिकली अ यूनिवर्सल डेफिनेशन दिस इज यूनिवर्सल रूल व्हिच कैन बी अप्लाइड यूनिवर्सल डेफिनेशन और यूनिवर्सल वे ऑफ फाइंडिंग आउट वेदर द रिएक्शन इज रिडॉक्स और नॉट राइट बाकी सारे आपके स्पेसिफिक रिएक्शन में होते हैं अगर आपके पास ऑक्सीजन है तो आप ऑक्सीजन ट्रांसफर देख सकते हैं ठीक है अगर हाइड्रोजन उस रिएक्शन में है तो आप हाइड्रोजन ट्रांसफर देख सकते हैं इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसफर इज ओनली इज ओनली यू कैन विजुअलाइज और यू कैन सी वेर द आइंस आर बीन इन्वॉल्व ठीक है इनर रिएक्शन ठीक है कुछ रिएक्शन ऐसे होते हैं जहां आईने कंपाउंड नहीं होते जहां कोवलेंट कंपाउंड होते हैं तो ये दिस देर दिस पर्टिकुलर मेथड इज अ फेलियर सो इट इज ओनली ओनली अप्लाइड वेर द आइंस आर बीन फॉर्म आइंस एंड वर्ल्ड आइनिक रिएक्शन वो रिएक्शन जहां पर आइनिक रिएक्शन होते हैं जहां आइंस इन होते हैं ठीक है लेकिन आपका चेंज इन ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर इज अ यूनिवर्सल मेथड व्हिच कैन बी अप्लाइड टू एनी स्नैरियो चाहे वो ऑक्सीजन हो या ना हो चाहे हाइड्रोजन हो या ना हो चाहे न कंपाउंड हो ना हो आपका हर जगह ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर वाला मेथड अप्लाई होता है सो द एग्जामिनर एंड वी आर दिस इज आर फेवरेट वे ऑफ डूइंग क्योंकि आंख बंद करके आप कहीं पर भी अप्लाई कर सकते हैं ठीक है अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर हम कहते हैं the increase in oxidation number increase in oxidation number is basically oxidation and if there is a decrease in oxidation number decrease in oxidation number we call it reduction theek hai i hope i am clear so we have got four methods these methods are extremely extremely simple theek hai ye bahut hi simple method hai तो हम इनको अवॉइड करते हैं अंटल अनलेस बहुत असेंशियल हो जाए इनको यूज करना ठीक है देर दे वेरी सिंपल नाउ एग्जामिनर इज वेरी फॉन्ड ऑफ दीज मेथड ठीक है तो एग्जामिनर फेवरेट मेथड ये हैं योर मेथड थ्री एंड योर मेथड फोर राइट अब एग्जामिनर क्वेश्चन में स्पेसिफाई करता है इन द क्वेश्चन ही स्पेसिफाई एक्सप्लेन दिस रिएक्शन एज ए रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसफर तो आपको स्पेसिफिकली यही इसी के बेसिस पे इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसफर के बेसिस पर आपको वो प्रूव करना है कि वो रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन है या नहीं वहां आपको ट्रांसफरेंस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन शो करनी है अगर लॉस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन हो रहा है तो ऑक्सीडेशन शो करेंगे और अगर आपके पास गेन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन हो रहा है तो आप रिडक्शन शो करेंगे और अगर इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसफर नहीं कह रहा स्पेसिफिकली दैट यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन ऑन द बेस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसफर एंड जस्ट ही से यू हैव टू प्रूव वेदर फला फला दिस कंपाउंड इज अ दिस रिएक्शन इज अ डॉक्स और नॉट और दिस रिएजेंट इज अ रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट और व्हाट एवर यू कैन अप्लाई एनी अदर थ्री बट वी प्रेफर आर प्रेफरेंस विल बी दिस मेथड दिस मेथड इज प्रेफर्ड uh by us बिकॉज़ दिस इज अ यूनिवर्सल मेथड इट कैन बी अप्लाइड टू एनी सिनेरियो yes i am now moving on i am now moving on uh the oxidation method which is the most important and which actually we prefer so now the next step is we are going to memorize we are going to learn about the rules to calculate the oxidation number theek hai so i am writing down the rules to calculate to calculate the oxidation number the rules to calculate the oxidation number so the rule number 1 okay the rule number 1 is if the element is in uh, in its uncombined form so basically the elements in their in their uncombined form uncombined form have an oxidation number equals to 0 ठीक है फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव एन ए रियक्टिंग विद एच सी एल गोइंग टू फॉर्म एन ए सी एल प्लस इज गोइंग टू फॉर्म एच टू राइट और जिंक रियक्टिंग विद कॉपर सल्फेट 
it's going to give you zinc sulfate and it's going to give you copper. Now, according to this rule, this element is in my uncombined form. So, sodium will be having oxidation number 0. Similarly, the hydrogen is a molecule. So, in this scenario, sodium will oxidation number will be 0. Zinc is in uncombined form, it will be 0. And copper is in the uncombined form, it will be 0. So, in this scenario, zinc will be 0 and the copper is going to be 0. So, these are two examples which are going to state that the uncombined molecule element, the uncombined form, have an oxidation number 0. Coming to the rule number 2. When you move on to the rule number 2, the rule number 2 says that the charges on the ion, the charges on the ions, whether simple ions, whether simple ions, simple ions are those which are made up of one element or the complex ions, jo bhi simple ions hai ya jo bhi complex ions hai, jo unke per charge hai, that becomes their oxidation number, that becomes their oxidation number, okay. For example, now if I have a sodium ion, to sodium ion ka jo oxidation number hoga wo plus one ho jayega. If I have chloride ion, its oxidation number will become minus 1. If I have uh, sulfide ion, so its oxidation number will become minus 2. Right? These are the simple lines. These are the example of simple lines. Now, moving on to the complex one. Now, like, for example, we have carbonate ion. So, carbonate as a whole will have an oxidation number minus 2. Similarly, another complex ion. So, nitrate as a whole will be having oxidation minus 1. Then we have sulfate ions. So, sulfate as a whole will be having oxidation number minus 2. So, these are the examples of complex ions. Okay, is it clear? So, here the sulfate will be having the oxidation number of minus 2. Zinc has 2 plus, so that becomes its oxidation number. Copper has 2 plus. Sulfate has 2 minus, so this they become automatically, they becomes their oxidation number. Remember, whenever we write down the oxidation number, in when we whenever we write down the oxidation number, oxidation number, we write down sign first followed by the number. Whereas when we write down the valency or the charges, we write number followed by the sign. So that is the difference. Whenever you write down the oxidation number, you have to write down the sign followed by the number and it's mandatory to write down the sign because some of the elements they have the positive oxidation number as well as they have the negative so you have to specify the sign there coming to the rule number three okay the rule number three is that molecule as a whole molecule as a whole right whether you have a simple molecule or you have a complex molecule simple molecule ka matlab kya hai? simple molecules are basically the molecules of the element. Okay, jo eki element ke bane hote hai. Simple molecules or the molecules of element. Okay, molecules of element. Like for example, H2. For example, Cl2. For example, Br2. For example, O2. They will be having oxidation number 0. Okay, so we talk about some molecule as a whole. Simple molecule or the complex molecule have an oxidation number equals to zero right so these are simple molecules coming to the next category the next category we have the complex molecules okay when you talk about the complex molecules like for example i have sulfuric acid as a molecule so this whole molecule will be having oxidation number zero so nacl i have a whole molecule oxidation number zero Ab yahan pe dekho something very interesting Agar is ke upar 2 plus charge hai, zinc ke upar or sulfate ions ke upar 2 minus charge hai, to ab ye charges kya honge? They will get cancelled off. And jab cancelled off honge, to molecule as a whole will be having oxidation number 0. Similarly, I have a charge 2 plus here and I have a charge 2 negative. So when they get cancelled, jab ye cancel out ho jayenge, to overall the molecule will be having oxidation number 0. Similarly, sodium having a simple ion, chloride having a negative ion, negative charge. So, they both get cancelled here. They, when they get cancelled, the overall oxidation number of this molecule becomes zero. Okay. Simple molecules have an overall oxidation number zero. Moving on to the rule number four. Okay. When you talk about the rule number four, there are certain elements in key fixed 
oxidation number hota hai. Like for example, we need to memorize that hydrogen will always have a fixed oxidation number of plus one. There are few exceptions, but those exceptions are not in all of us. Take it for example, when you call talk about the hydrides, hydrides ke case mein ye oxidation number minus one hota hai, but that is not out of the bond of all of us. Similarly, oxygen. Oxygen will always have an oxidation number minus two. There is an oxidation uh, exception that's peroxide, but that is out of the scope of all of us. So we will not do this, right? So th these are basically the rules. There are four rules, okay? Or in four rules ke basis per, jab we memorize ho jate hain, toh we will be calculating in an equation that how, what are the oxidation number and how are the oxidation number being increased of an element or decrease and on the basis of increase and decrease we actually calculate whether the reaction this part of the reaction is redox or this part of the reaction is uh, oxidation <laughs>